Welcome to Jay Christopher at Apassionata Estate. I'm Clifford Robin, general manager of the winery and overall property. Uh, Jay Christopher is a small winery located in Oregon's northern Willamette Valley that is focused on expressive, top quality wines made with a patient old world approach. The winery is owned by Ernst Lozen, the famed Riesling producer behind Germany's Dr. Lozen and Villa Wolf wineries. Uh, Ernie is a rock star of, of Riesling uh, and wine in general. So Ernie started an import business uh, back in 2003 here in Oregon. And uh, as a lifelong Pinot fanatic, his frequent visits here provided an easy opportunity and access to explore and collect wines from around Oregon. And uh, he really liked what we have going on here in the valley and wanted in on the action. And after several years of planning and consideration, uh, Ernie decided to dive in. So in 2009, uh, he bought this property, 40 acre parcel, planted over to uh, 21 acres of vineyard, uh, 18 specifically to Pinot Noir and an acre and a half each to Sauvignon Blanc and Chardonnay. Uh, over the past decade, Ernie and our Jay Christopher team have earned a lot of recognition, uh, such as being named a Wine and Spirits Top 100 winery four times. Uh, the winery and estate here are actually located in the Shea Halen Mountains Appalachian, which is a sub-AVA of the much larger Willamette Valley, uh, just outside the town of Newburgh. Uh, you can see kind of these rolling hills behind me here. Um, and this is kind of typical for the Shea Halen Mountains. We've kind of been carved up uh, many years ago between uh, glacial movement and the Missoula floods. Uh, and so what that's done is deposited a lot of different uh, soil types, um, you know, basalt, marine sediment, uh, and that's kind of what defines the Shehala Mountains. Um, and so we're really focused on a sense of place. We want our wines to express the complexity and layers of minerality of the Shehala Mountains, um, and just as well to show the, the pure fruit and delicate structure of the red volcanic clay of the Dundee Hills, which is another sub-AVA we source from and it's a, just a short valley away from us. Um, but they're two very distinct senses of place in such a small amount of space. Overall, it's a perfect union of old world tradition and the new world adventure. Come on out, try our wines in person. The wines pair uh, quite well with our stunning view from our tasting room, and uh, hopefully we can show you both soon. Hello, my name is Daniel Emmes. I'm the nephew of Ernst Losen and production manager at J. Christopher. And to be responsible wine growers and winemakers, we must focus on sustainability. So this whole winery at J. Christopher was planned in a sustainable manner. Uh, we put a lot of focus on energy efficiency um, for example, our barrel caves are built underground. So in order to have more better temperature regulation and humidity control, uh, which also allows, uh, allows the wines to mature better. So we also have solar panels on our roof, which provide most of the energy we are using. Um, our crush pad was designed that we can use it, that we can use gravity with it um, to, to, to minimize the energy. Also it's a very gentle handling of the grapes. We have a 40 acre um, property here but only 22 acres of those property are planted. This leaves a lot of space for natural habitats like wetlands we have here but also these nice old oak trees. We also are um, farming all our vineyards either organically or sustainably, uh, which means we are not using chemical fertilizers or pesticides and only use approved organic soil additions. Our general goals at the winery are to constantly assess what we are doing, constantly assess through the various standards of uh, sustainability where there are still potential for development, for improvement 
and try to implement a strategy based upon that. Hello, my name is Tim Malone. I'm the winemaker for J. Christopher Wines. We take a balanced and pragmatic approach to winemaking. We like to be hands-off as much as possible and let the wines speak for themselves. We like to give the wines the time they need to achieve the balance, texture, and length that J. Christopher is known for. Cellar techniques that we use to support our philosophy on winemaking include hand-picking and hand-sorting all of our fruit and no fining and no filtration. We over-vintage all of our wines, allowing them to clarify on their own so that we don't need to use filters. In regards to sustainability, we have a very robust recycling program. Everyone that works here understands that this is more than just a place of work. This is also our home. So we often hold on to items for years until we can find the correct place for it to go. In an attempt to conserve, we generally like to use our steam generator. We prefer it over a barrel washer because it uses about one sixth the amount of water. It also sanitizes, which allows us to not use caustic and citric acid, helping preserve the surrounding lands. Although the steam generator uses a significant amount of electricity, we have a very robust solar system, producing more energy every year than we consume. We work directly with some of the best growers and vineyards in Oregon's Willamette Valley to consistently deliver top tier quality wine. We strive for the highest quality standards throughout our wine growing and wine making process. Wine should show its unique character and place it comes from, and the best way to do that is eliminating human interference. Low manipulation starts with our farming practices. We pay special attention to the density of the wine, even ripeness of the fruit, and the overall concentration of flavor in each grape. Each aspect requires attention to preserve the great characteristics of Pinot Noir and the rest of our wines. Mm -hmm.